What's up guys? On this episode of Inspiration Nation, it's the moment you guys have been waiting for. We're going to get the orange monster running. And we're going to be doing that with the Holly Terminator X Max. Unboxing! It's got a really nice looking ECU. Drive by wire throttle cable, throttle setup. Because on our project, we opted to keep the fly-by wire. It was in the Cadillac, it worked perfectly. Might as well utilize all the parts we can. So we opted for the X-Max, which allows you to run drive-by wire. Here's our little display. It looks just like the one on the Holly Sniper, except for it says Terminator X. And a beautiful OE looking wiring harness with all the proper plugs and labels. This is uh, definitely DIY friendly right here. Really high quality. And it looks like they give us enough to mount the computer anywhere we want. So that's really nice. That will allow us to hide it and make the intervey look really cool. Now, first thing we're going to do when installing our holly is we're going to lay the basic wiring harness out. Now something else that I had to pick up with my particular application is a manifold air temp sensor. And what I did was I went to the auto parts store and got one for a 2002 Z28 Camaro with the 5.7 LS1. problems holding the crank pulley while we're trying to torque the new harmonic balancer down. So we got an old seat belt and we're going to try something. It may be a success, it may not be, but 235 foot pound torque, we got to figure it out. Now we get our torque wrench and our 27 millimeter and we see if this works or not. Make sure you torque it to 235 foot pounds if you're using the ARP fully. Now, something the Holly Terminator kit doesn't come with is the alternator wiring. And if you're running the LS1 system like I am, you'll need to buy their Holly part number 197 400. About 20 bucks. But what you do is you plug it into your alternator and you run this to an ignition wire. And what it does is, is while the car is running, it's telling the alternator to send power and charge your system. The Terminator kit doesn't come with it, but Holly offers it. 20 bucks, you're on point.
noticed, we didn't go with the traditional black on the firewall and the radiator support. We actually did this really nice gray, and it's from House of Colors. It's the House of Colors Galaxy Gray. I love the color. It's a really nice look, especially with the silver vein powder coat, and it kind of makes the orange pop. Now we've got to do a parts run. We're going to go get some new bolts. We're going to go get our extension tube for our lower radiator hose. tucking the bumpers on this car. If you're familiar with the 74 to 77 Camaro, they have these beautiful big aluminum bumpers, but they stick out pretty far. So how we're gonna tuck them is, we're gonna remove the 70s big shock absorbing leaf spring design that's all underneath the back of the bumpers. They've already been taken off, and we're gonna leave the guide tubes on the bumper and on the chassis. Now we've gone on and ground a nice spot and once we get it set at the right depth that we want the bumper tucked in, then we're gonna just put a few tack welds on, pull them off and weld them all the way around, send them off for powder coat. Little bit by little bit. Whoa, too much. Now once you get your desirable depth, you're gonna come right here and put two nice little beads of weld just to hold it in place. We're gonna put a couple good beads on it. Now what we've done is, is we've run all our wires basically to the point that they needed to be. Now we're gonna still have to come back in and clean up and tuck and hide the wiring, but we wanted to make sure that everything was gonna work. Now when you get your Terminator X kit, before you fire it up, you're gonna go through your wizard settings. And it's really simple to go through your cubic inch of the engine, which injectors you have, your duration of the cam. Very, very easy setup on it. And then you calibrate your electronic pedal if you're running that application. And then it'll let you know to give it a fire. And uh, we've just done all that stuff. Didn't really want to bore you with the details, but it is very, very simple. It's all done with this stylus. Small little screen that comes with it. This is our, hope we got it right. all for this episode. Next time, join us and we'll be going through how to make the brake lines and using a really cool tool on how to double flare your stuff. We're going to deal with making our radiator hoses and hopefully getting this beast on the ground. We're taking her for maybe a test drive if our drive shaft is in in time. 
So make sure you check out our t-shirts. Link down in the description below. We got some really cool t-shirts in. Um, check us out.